inverter. Boom. We got those blue ambient lights now. Well, here it is. Hotshot Cribs or Kitty L Hotshot RV Take 3. Welcome to my crib. So, we're coming in here. Doors open. It's dark in here, so let's go ahead and turn on the little button light. And as you can see, this will be the mud room. I'd like you to keep your boots there. Foyer area. And we come down the hallway which is also the closet where your warm clothes go. Come down the hallway into the great room. And here we are. For those of you who have seen the truck before, not much has changed, but a lot has changed. What I mean is I haven't purchased that much. I've just changed some things around. So, before I had the bed tucked up in that area, right? Now, got a shelf going on right here. So, my cooking stove and grill can stay inside the truck because I had to take it out every time I wanted to use it before, put it in the back toolbox, bring it here, set it on the floor. So, the other big problem I had in here was I had bags of clothes and the coffee maker and everything sitting around, so I had to move everything all the time. Pain in the butt. Now, because we got the shelf, heater, coffee maker, microwave is, microwave is the same, PlayStation, television, and if you notice up there, nice addition. That was my custom camber, step-in bindings. Love them. Use it in North Carolina once so far in January, but hopefully we're gonna get out on the road and be close to a mountain. So we have the map of the United States going on and what we're gonna do is start putting pins in everywhere we do an adventure, right? Like I've been golfing Morgan, Utah, which is right about there. And where else? Oh, Colorado, just outside of Denver. I went golfing there. And then North Carolina, e, right around there. I need my glasses to see it because it is pretty small writing. But back to the truck. So this is now the new bed. This is six inch foam mattress. So again, the old design had that chair for those of you who saw it before, had that chair and that thing weighed like 30 pounds and there was metal on it. So it was uncomfortable to sleep on after a while. I would sink down and then be stuck on the metal. So no more metal. And the beauty of this one is instead of moving two things, that big metal chair, all I have to do is go like this. Blanket comes up. Oh, I hope that's a good enough angle. Oopsies. There. Let's do that. Blanket comes up, mattress kicks right into place. Boom, there is the new bed. And to fold it up, again, much easier than before. Just comes up. It's easier with two hands. Against the wall. comforter behind boom back in lounge mode so we got the little table still tucked in there that's what I pull out to use to eat and everything else and again because I was moving so much stuff around all the time now all we did was move the inverter which is back there. It used to be mounted right here where that fire extinguisher is. That fire extinguisher was out here. So mounted it on the side, added a shelf. So now all my t-shirts are in here. And that's a lot of t-shirts. And then this basket, which fits right under here. Oh, well, we'll just expose. So there's the cooler. And again, there's the battery down there. So there's still easy access to the battery, but again, this little basket with all my undies and socks. 
slides right into here. Cooler in place, loaded up with food. My sweet mother's been cooking up a storm, so got some shepherd's pie, chicken parmesan, got some Snickers bars. The bins have now been insulated and carpet put on them. So hopefully that's going to reduce noise. And then we've got this warm blanket, this warm rug sitting on top. So moving over here, we still have the same sink and we're doing the same technique with all our food under there and with our dishes right there. Dishes, silverware, I wrap it up after I clean it, I stick it in there, it's done. The pantry area, vitamins, spices, coffee, gas for the grill, coffee cup, protein shakes. There actually is a blender in here now also. So, of course you can see paper towel rolls and hand towel. So the last cool thing going on here. So if I have to move everything around again, it's a lot easier. So move this out of the way. Down in the floor, we fold this guy over, open this up, extra clothes. There's all my snowboard gear, my snowboard boots. We've actually got a heated blanket in here that we're gonna try out because we know it's gonna get cold. And the entire box, again, has been insulated and then carpet. So it should help with heat and noise reduction. Again, fold that over, done, chair. Done. You know what? I, I forgot one of the most important parts. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Obviously from that picture there. So more, I, there's so much. So I got an indoor outdoor thermometer. So I know how, what's going on. So it's 61 outside, 68 inside. Go ahead and turn on the inverter. Boom. We got those blue ambient lights now. <sighs> So that is behind the TV. And like I was saying, I didn't spend a lot of money. I was walking through Ross, okay? Those blue lights, they plug in HDMI right into the side of the inverter, $7.99. Um, that light up there, seven. I think it was like three bucks. And we put a second light right here and that can be a reading light so we don't have to have the above lights on. So I guess I should have showed that part before, but PlayStation booting up because I just shut off the inverter. I didn't shut it off properly, but oh, and the all important ass cushion. <laughs> I think that's it. Let's go make some money. So guys, we're leaving tomorrow. We will see you on the road. And the trailer has been completely detailed. Pressure washed the deck. So you see a little clip of that. But uh, here we go to 2022. What up, people? So I said I was cleaning up the trailer. I said I wasn't going to record it. But there's something terribly satisfying about doing pressure washing. And the difference is... Look at that. I don't know, this could be pretty loud, so I'm yelling, but look at 
the green versus brown. Crazy. I wish the pose was longer on this damn thing, but. Ah, second half. Let's do this. <laughs> 